This is something I call the integer tug of war. Came up with this idea a few years ago to help students understand addition and subtraction of integers. Based on it was based on our Spirit Day class competitions between freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, including massive tugs of war in the gym. To believe this, you have to imagine that each person is the same size and strength. Yeah, like that would happen with freshmen and seniors. We have uh, two teams, the pluses and minuses, or positives and negatives, and sometimes the positions, the, sorry, the positives don't wear the team logo, which is a plus. So here's a negative three, and here's a positive four, or just a plain four. So who will pull harder? Well, first of all, let's talk about unlike signs and unlike signs means some one is positive and one is negative. Okay, so we have negative 3 plus 4, which is the same as 4 plus negative 3. Okay, so here's the tug-of-war rope, and here's a little flag in the center that they try to pull one side or the other. And we've got negative 3 pulling on one side, and we've got positive 4 pulling on the other side. Okay, so who's going to win? Positives are going to win because they've got one more person pulling than the negatives. So our answer is positive, and they've only got one more person pulling, so it's going to be a little bit of a struggle, and it's going to come out as positive 1, or just plain 1. Okay, and this can also be written as negative 3 plus 4, or 4 minus 3. Okay, let's look at a second situation. Negative 5 plus 2, or 2 plus negative 5. So now we've got 5 people pulling on the negative side, and we've got 2 pulling on the positive side. Okay, so anybody can see that the negatives will win. It won't take too long, and they have 3 more people pulling. Okay, so they win by 3. And there are a couple ways that we can write this. We can write it as negative 5 plus 2 equals negative 3, or 2 minus 5 equals negative 3. And this is the same as 2 plus a negative 5 equals negative 3. Okay, they all mean the same thing. Notice it doesn't matter which pulling side we name first, the positives or the negatives, the result is the same. Okay, now let's go to a different situation, which is really like signs, where the signs are the same. And this is also known as what I call the ridiculous tug-of-war. Basically, we have three people pulling on the positive side, and we have two more pulling on the positive side. Okay, again, it doesn't take a, a lot of thinking about this to realize that the positives are going to win. They're going to win big because nobody is pulling on the negative side. Okay, and there are a lot of different ways to write this. Uh, we can write it as 3 plus 2 equals 5. We can write it as 2 plus 3 equals 5. And if we want to, we can always have a positive sign on these front running numbers even though they don't need to have one. Remember they don't always wear the team logo. Okay, and another situation where the signs are alike again. Another ridiculous tug of war where everybody is pulling on the negative side. So we've got a negative 4 and a negative 2 well, again, it doesn't take a lot of thinking about this to realize that the negatives are going to win, and they're going to win big. So minus 4 and a negative 2 equals negative 6. And again, we can write that like this. Or more simply, just like this. Okay. So hopefully you're with me so far. We have a, a regular tug-of-war where one side eventually prevails. And then we've got the ridiculous tug-of-war where it takes about one second for one side to win because nobody is pulling on the other side.
positive 3, positive 2, negative 4, negative 2. Uh, either side wins big in that case. Okay, now let's look at another situation, which is the same as subtracting a negative integer. And we have negative 3 minus a negative 2. I had to think of a way to make this make sense in terms of the tug of war, and here's what I came up with, and see if you agree. We've got negative 3 and a negative 2, but the negative 2 is subtracted. What that means is these two people go over and work for the other team. They're gone from the negative side, they go over to the positive side. Of course, the negative teammates aren't very happy, but they still have more people pulling, and so they still win. It takes a little longer. They, win. they have one more person pulling. And so we can write this as negative 3 minus negative 2 is the same as negative 3 and those two people going over to the positive side. So we can turn the two minus signs into a positive. All right, and then we have another situation here where we have negative 3 minus a negative 5. So originally we were going to have a big win for the negatives, except the negatives lost all these five people. They went over to the positive side. Okay, and now the positives are stronger, and eventually they'll win, and they have two more people pulling. So the answer is positive 2. So we can write it this way. Negative 3 minus a negative 5 is the same as negative 3 plus 5. And the answer to both of those is positive 2. And of course, in this situation, the people on the negative team are going to say, I think we need to look over the rules before we run this another time here. Uh, we were all set to win big. and all of a sudden the, all these people defected to the other side and, and then the other side won. So we've got to change the rules before we do this again. So if you're a teacher or a student, uh, I hope this is helpful and thanks for your time.